Now let's start with a new chapter that is life processes in living organisms. Now all the living organisms are made up of different organs and these organs combine to form different type of systems. Now the system can be digestive system where the mouth, intestine, the stomach are involved. These can be the circulatory systems where the arteries, veins, heart are involved. This can be the respiratory systems where the nose, lungs are involved and so on. Now, for all these systems to perform efficiently, the organs must coordinate with each other and constantly work together. For organs to work together, what they need is energy. Now, how is energy obtained? The food stuff we eat contains the carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals and so on. But these carbohydrates cannot be directly utilized by the organs. They have to be converted in a specific units called as ATP, that is adenosine triphosphate. These are also called as energy currency of the cell. Now the carbohydrates are converted into ATP and ATP is the energy molecule which is used by the organs to perform their tasks. Now the process of conversion of carbohydrates into ATP is called as cellular respiration. Now the cellular respiration is of two types. One is aerobic respiration which is with the use of oxygen and another is anaerobic respiration which is without the use of oxygen. Let us understand its process. Respiration is a catabolic process which involves exchange of gases. That is, oxygen enters inside the lung and carbon dioxide is eliminated outside the lungs. There are two types of respiration, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration takes place in presence of molecular oxygen. Anaerobic respiration takes place in absence of molecular oxygen. Let's talk about aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration takes place in presence of molecular oxygen. It means oxygen is utilized in this process. It involves three important following steps. Number one, glycolysis. Number two, tricarboxylic acid cycle. Number three, electron transfer chain reaction. Glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell. Here, a hexose sugar glucose is broken down into two molecules of pyruvic acid and leads to the formation of ATP, NADH2 and water molecule. Pyruvic acid so formed further gets broken down and converted into acetyl coenzyme A. Second step, tricarboxylic acid cycle or TCA cycle or also called as Krebs cycle after the discovery of the scientist Sir Hans Krebs. This cycle takes place usually in the matrix of the mitochondria. Acetyl coenzyme A enters the matrix of the mitochondria and is further completely oxidized through the cyclical process and leads to the formation of molecule such as carbon dioxide, water molecule, NADH2 and FADH2 as the assimilatory power. Third step, electron transfer chain reaction also called as electron transport system. This cycle also takes place in the mitochondria where NADH2 and FADH2 as a pa assimilatory power enters inside the electron transfer chain reaction. One molecule of NADH2 synthesizes three molecules of ATP and one molecule of FADH2 synthesizes two molecules of ATP. Besides this assimilatory power FADH2 and NADH2, there is also synthesis of water molecule in this reaction. Now let us summarize all these three stages. We have glucose which undergoes oxidation in the step glycolysis. It produces pyruvic acid and it produces acetyl coenzyme A. With the help of fatty acids and amino acids, it undergoes TCA cycle which is also known as Krebs cycle and then by electron transfer chain reaction, our body produces the energy which is required. The byproducts are the carbon dioxide and the water molecules. Now, as the name suggests, anaerobic respiration does not require oxygen. Many type of bacteria perform anaerobic respiration for production of their energy. Glycolysis and fermentation are the two major steps. The glucose is partially oxidized and it produces pyruvic acid which undergoes fermentation. 
After fermentation, the byproducts form could be alcohol, lactic acid or any other products. The anaerobic respiration does not produce much amount of energy as compared to the aerobic respiration. 